Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we start the trek towards Lang Tang. So we're in the uh, private Jeep. So it's a little bit more luxury. Excited? Yeah, we're excited. Yeah. It's a little bit more luxury than the other. So, so we are heading to Lang Tang, Lang -tang track. Yes. So it's myself with uh, Tamara and Michael. Hi. Hi, hi. There we go. Now this is the busy street that I cross out every day and it's so mental right there. Like I can imagine. Oh jeez. Like you just have to walk and just go like you'd be there forever. It's because yeah. there's international people here always. for the National Park. So, oh, there are mo yeah. monkeys, leopards. Superbury National Park. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, we're just stopping on the side of the road there, having a little toilet break. We're inside the village, um, just outside of Kathmandu. There's the toilets. And the trucks. And there's the facilities. stop for our lunch. It's just the side of the road. I'm gonna eat outside. I'm just gonna see what the place looks like. I'm gonna have I'm gonna probably have some Dalbat. They have Dalbat chow mein and stuff. Here's the restaurant. Cool. Here's where we are.
Okay, so we just arrived to the Wang Tang Park, the entrance way. So we're at a checkpoint, the last checkpoint before we go in. So they have to check your passports and stuff and for smuggling and make sure you have your passes and stuff. So we're also stretching our legs. It was a very, very bumpy ride, um, but we're happy to have the uh, the Jeep. Like, makes it a lot better with being on a bus and that you'd be you'd be in bits there. Plus it's has the air conditioner. So there's the fees, the park entry fee. So 400 is 3,000 rupees. Uh, Sark, so what Sark? Is that, uh, I guess, is that Indian and stuff? And then Nepali is 100 rupees. Helicopter landing, 3,000 rupees. And then, there's the, and there's the Lang Tang map. This is also very close to the border of China. So that's why the heightened uh, uh, security and that for smuggling and stuff. So there's the map right there. So everyone has to go through here. Some very scenic views and that, and it's, it's a hard life. Like, uh, living up here and uh like you've seen some of the views i'll put up there and that like the, the some of the turns and that the jeep has to make with other oncoming vehicles have to pull aside and uh it's very interesting very worth the experience like i said so once this checkpoint's over we'll be uh getting on our way Okay, so our driver dropped us off and he's gone and we're gonna get started. Just to uh, let you know, uh, just before coming here, after Cyber Basie heading towards where he dropped off, there was actually a, a rock slide, three rocks came coming down to the right of us. It was gonna hit us inside the uh, driver at the last minute had to actually give her gas. Now, those rocks were the size of, let's say, I don't know, 20, 24 inches diameter, big three of them. It would have done some damage if it came on. Plus you don't know, sometimes they collect other ones. But we're starting the trek towards Lang Tang Village. So here's our first little bridge. First tea house we've seen. This way. And they're drying chewies. Of 
Welcome to Doman Riverview Guest House. So every while there's spotted guest house along the trail. I'm okay. We just started. It's up to them. Wow, there's more chilies. Look at about. <laughs> Don't know if I missed it, but there was a monkey here. You can sort of see it jumping around. Yeah. Well, we got a good view. Here, camera was a little slow. So, we're making our way, slowly but surely. Backpack's a little heavy right now. It takes me a while to get used to it. It's beautiful views, though. So, my backpack weighs about 13 and a half kilos. So about 30 pounds, two and a half stone for use. So getting, you're getting hang a bit there. Just you have to take your time. So you walk at your pace. And Michael was saying the rule of thumb is you walk at half your walking pace and then a little bit less. Because the mountain elevation uh, tends to be a bit more. So. I don't know if you can hear it, but on the right hand side of me, there's a monkey. You can hear him squawking away as we continue down the path. One thing when you're walking downhill and you're doing mountain ranges, it's not always a good thing because if you go down, it means you're going to back up. I remember when I was on the Camino, every time I was going downhill, I used to curse it because you knew right after you'd be going up the next time. So, oh well. It's really, really warm. It's hard to believe that the uh, the down jacket that I rented with the sleeping bag, I'm going to be needing it because it's actually blistering day. Like I'm sweating a lot. So, anyways, we'll continue on and enjoy this trek as we make our way towards Lang Tang Village. Right over here on the rock, there's a monkey right there. Just by the man's side there. I'll see if I can zoom in with the GoPro later. I'm gonna try taking with my camera out now. We hit to an RT is here. And got rid of my backpack for a bit. Whoa. Oh. The man's working on the top. We're waiting for one more. Here's a little kitty. Hello. Hello. There's another one. Hello. Oh. Namaste. Namaste. Sanjay Hono Huncha. Sanjay Chu. Sanjay Chu. Ramro Chha. Ramro. Ramro. Oh, having a good old Coke for the sugar, I expect. No Coke Zero here. I don't need it. And then they just have a little tray there. You can help yourself out with the uh, bottled water, pineapple juice. There's some fruit there. I'm just gonna sip and enjoy this. But here's the little guest house, which is the, from when you time you leave Cyber Bessie, this would be the second guest house that you come to. So anyways, I'm gonna sit and enjoy this and we'll relax with our little kitten friends there. And here's, your man, Majendra. How are you, man? And, uh, ah, we're grand. We're grand. Okay. In the mountain. Here's Majendra. He's telling us where we're going to stay here for the uh, the first night. And what's this called? Uh, Poido. Is it the guest place, house? Place name. Poido. 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 Yeah. Poido. Okay. And then we're going to have the rooms there and uh, chill out and enjoy this. Right by the water. You can't ask for more. Okay, so here's what the room looks like. Um, it's a double bed and a single bed. Right here, it's actually quite warm. There's a light here in the room. And it's well light lit up. So, it's no harm there. And I think I'm just by myself. You know, because it's the closer of the two uh, from Cyber Basically, they will probably get a little discount for the rooms and then we'll take a look uh, around the place dining room. dining room 
Here's the dining room. And here's the fireplace. New lap of the National Park. And then the kitchen. Here's the kitchen, what it looks like. Here's where we'll be having our dal bat later. And uh, I was happy enough with the progress there. Was, like, considering I had I was the only one with the, the full pack there, a little slower, but and here's your toilet. And uh, and then here would be the hot shower. And you can hear the, the water right behind you. So it's right there. You're really into the nature right here. So we'll be enjoying the dinner later, like six or seven o'clock. And they're preparing. Hi man, how are you? Hello. Hard working young girl. Timro Nam Kiho. Ah, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Middle name Miko. Miko? Miko. Bola bola. Mike, Mike, Mike. His name is Mike. Mick. No, I'm not Mike. Why not Mike? <laughs> you like? Such a beautiful view. Wi Fi. And here's the water tap. Fresh from the water. Now, I, my water bottle I picked is the life straw so I can fill it up anywhere. I could even go to that stream if I wanted and use it because it's filtered, it's better for the environment, it's not plastic bottles and stuff. So that's the reason why I used it. And uh, Michael, who's with us, he has a life straw as well. So we're doing our little bit for the environment. The little girl's hard at work getting ready for dinner later on. So we get to relax for the, uh, the rest of the evening. And then tomorrow morning we get on our way again. So. Stay tuned, we'll see what the dinner is. They're cute when they're that size. So here's the menu. Now that, and then the prices. And fried rice, potatoes, spaghetti, and it's soups, chowing, and for breakfast. But then there's the hot drinks yeah, no. you have. So teas, lemon teas, black coffee, no coffee. Coke. Coke. Breakfast. Tamara? Cheese omelet. Yeah, it's like a two coke, yeah? Omelet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And porridge. Yeah. So that's the choice there. So that's all included with the uh, the deal there. So very good. So we're just waiting for lunch or for dinner to come in. We're gonna have six o'clock dinner. I've taken Dal Bat again. Okay, tomorrow morning we'll get up. We have breakfast at 6.30 in the morning and then we head out at 7 a.m. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting ready for a nice meal here in this tea house. It's very cozy. It's actually they're comfortable. So I have my dal bat again. Guys, and what do you have? The, uh, the fried rice, and you have spaghetti. the spaghetti with the uh, cheese and sauce on the side. So we're gonna get stuck in here and enjoy the meal. <laughs> 